Well, in fact, now we are getting in visuals of uh, troops from the Azov Battalion taking shelter in an apartment building. Uh, we don't know the location of uh, this, uh, uh, these images that we are now getting. Now, the Azov Battalion, just uh, to tell our viewers, was part of the Ukraine's National Guard and has been heavily involved in the current conflict. Uh, Azov's military and political wings, of course, formally separated in 2016 when the far-right National core party was founded. Now, the Azov Battalion had then been integrated into the Ukrainian National Guard. Now, uh, Barkha joins me uh, from our Delhi newsroom. Good morning, Barkha. Uh, give us more details of the pictures we are now accessing. Uh, these, of course, do show Azov soldiers being uh, quite heavily involved in the current conflict. Yes, Nupur, these are the Azov soldiers taking shelter in the buildings. As we can see in the pictures, they are, they are seen taking shelters. And uh, Nupur, uh, you can easily recall the last round of negotiations that happened. And there, Rus promised, sort of, Rus said that it will be uh, cutting down the military operations around uh, uh, the capital, Kiev, and some parts of uh, uh, the northern Ukraine. But it is actually doing the opposite right now because uh, Russia continues to batter the cities of Ukraine uh, with missiles. Uh, and we can see these pictures coming in from day one. Uh, and now, uh, Nupur, uh, Russia is also making a claim that uh, it has captured many of the key cities, which is, of course, uh, uh, being denied by the uh, Ukrainian army and uh, the government there. Now, the pictures are coming in since morning, late night, when the uh, entire uh, country is being pounded by missiles. This is unending. This looks like really an ending because we see this, uh, the streets are deserted, uh, the buildings are demolished, and the, 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 destructions, uh, the destruction that is happening looks really horrifying there. Now, when the foreign minister of Russia is coming to India and there will be negotiations happening here only, uh, bilateral talks will happen here with the Dr. S. Jay Shankar. We'll see what's going to happen there because the world is looking at this meeting. Now, right. all the pictures which are coming in are, we can see on uh, the television screen which we are uh, getting to our viewers is of Azov soldiers which are taking shelters and these are the pictures from most of the key cities, the vital places. Anupur, we have seen uh, right. the monuments, the, the oldest of the monuments which are being covered to protect them from the missile attacks which are happening uh, because the Russian air troops are not stopping at all. And, these, uh, and this is the situation since day one and we have to see that if more round of negotiations happen, what is really going to happen in the future? Because uh, Russia, when... Uh, 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 sorry, when uh, uh, Zelensky said that he really wants uh, this war to end without uh, uh, any uh, of uh, the uh, All right, conditions absolutely, made. Barca, as you're pointing out, we'll have to wait and watch for negotiations, how they enter. Just to uh, give our viewers a sense of the visuals right now, this is the Azov Battalion. Now, this has been very, very controversial in terms that it has been uh, key in defending Mariupol, but it does have neo-Nazi leanings, and that is something that the Russians have been talking about for a very, very long time. Thank you, Barka, for joining us. You are